What's going on IGTV peeps? We have a 10 rep countdown. 10 dumbbell floor presses to 10 dumbbell overhead presses, subtracting one each round. So to nine floor presses, nine overhead presses, eight, eight, seven, seven. As low as you can get, as quickly as you can, chasing quality reps on the clock. Now, if you guys just have a single set of dumbbells, the heaviest I would go was probably 25 pounds, just because the overhead pressing from the seated position gets really gross, uh, really fast. If you guys do wanna make this more of a strength movement and you have access to bigger dumbbells, I would say go heavier on the floor press, probably double what you do for the overhead press if you wanna make it more strength heavy. But if we're going for time and we only have light loads because we're stuck at home right now, this is the option I would go, 25 pounds and down. So what it would look like is when you guys set up the floor press, real basic, you guys are gonna lean back, pack the feet tight, we're here. It's a dead stop every time. So again, I'm gonna press one second two seconds, three seconds. So you guys hit all 10 repetitions. Once you're done, you guys are gonna pop up almost like an overhead, like you would do kind of Z presses. So again, try to pack the hamstrings tight to the ground. You guys are blocked here, either that neutral grip, or if you guys feel comfortable, kind of military style, it's fine. But I'm gonna press for all four range of motion, 10 repetitions. Once all 10 are done, I would pop back down to the 10 floor presses, excuse me, nine floor presses, the nine overhead presses, 8877. Seven as low down as you can get, zero and zero, as quickly as possible. Again, chasing quality reps, not just the clock. Tag a buddy, tag me with your time. Love to see a video and happy to share it with you guys. Good luck, let me know how it goes.